Today, we'll talk about one of the best-selling spiritual books of all time. One book that has changed my life, initiated millions into the practice of Kriya Yoga over the past 70 plus years. Today, we'll also talk about how and when to read this book to get the most out of it. So stay tuned. Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda was published in 1946 and since has been categorized one of the best-selling spirit uh, books in the spiritual category. It has also been included in the 50 spiritual books, Timeless Classics on Wisdom and 50 Greatest Books on Inner Discovery, Enlightenment and Purpose. My introduction to the book came at a very emotional trying time. I used to read books on self-development like Think and Grow Rich, The Secret and many more books on loss of attraction and self-development. But at this particular time, I tried to read those books and I couldn't connect to it because it all didn't have the deeper aspect or the spiritual aspect that my mind was seeking probably. My introduction to this book came from Steve Jobs actually. I, I was a big Steve Jobs fan at the time. And this was one of the books that he gave to each and every person who came to his funeral. Uh, when, he, when they were going, they were given this big box and, he, and each of them uh, were given this book, Autobiography of a Yogi. It is also said that when he, when he passed away for past few years, this was the only book in his iPhone. So it, it always had that curiosity in me uh, because at that time I was used to look, look up to Steve Jobs. I still do. Uh, and he used to look up to this book. So maybe somewhere, somehow I thought maybe that is a book I should read about. Steve Jobs is not the only one, not just Steve Jobs, but many other celebrities like George Harrison, actor, South, big South actor Rajni Kant, um, one of the best cricketers in the world, Virat Kohli, and many, many more people has said the same thing about the book. Book, in essence, is the journey of Paramahansa Yogananda from childhood pretty much all the way up to his passing and his journey, his spiritual journey as a yogi and his journey to self-realization or God-realization. And that's what this book introduces us to along with the practice of Kriya Yoga which should be the outcome. So the book's name is Autobiography of a Yogi. Yog means union and Yogi means a person who invests his life, his or her life into finding union with nature, with the eternal. So what that means is finding union with everything and anything around you. We see sportsmen and women doing some extraordinary things which for us mere mortals feel impossible. Now they can achieve this impossible feats because they have spent all their life focusing and working on this particular activity. Now imagine if a person is spending all their life understanding their own body, their own mind, their own soul. Imagine the things that it will unravel, the impossibilities that it can unlock and so the story is about the journey of a Paramahansa Yogananda. And Paramahansa Yogananda wrote this book towards the end of his life. So he can get all the experiences, all the knowledge, everything together and put, put it into this book. So when such a highly realized soul with some great master writes such a book, he writes with a whole different approach and intention. It is not about making a quick buck before people forget about him. It's the juice of all the learnings throughout his life and his experiences that is extracted into this book. To initiate us subconsciously into the power of practice and power of Kriya Yoga. The book is on a different vibration for a true seeker. It will open up different dimensions for us if we truly understand it and seek it with an open mind and heart. I myself practice Kriya Yoga every day and it has made immense changes in my life for the better. Kriya Yoga is simply a deeper meditative technique of breathing with immense benefits. Who should read this book? The answer to that is anyone and everyone can who has an open heart and mind. There's a great example in this book about this actor wanting to do Kriya Yoga but isn't sure because he is a big actor and you know he has a lot of women around them around him he's very materialistic in terms of his goals drinks eats meat and all of those things in his mind makes him question whether he, he can actually do this practice 
and he he takes this query to paramahansa yogananda and the answer that the guru ji gives him is very simple you don't need to stop any any of it but i cannot guarantee that you will be doing any of it by the end of it and this is kind of what summarizes the book doesn't matter where you are in your life what stage you are in where you come from but if you have faith in the process in in the book then it will open up things for you and change you in ways that you can't even imagine and it will change you for the better a book this book has a lot of different powers or siddhis as they call it that different yogis might have now this some of the things might be hard to believe in in our current times and the the answer to the the way to look at it the way to when you read it is just start with believing everything is said in the book rather than questioning it rather than fighting it saying this is right this is not possible this is this can't be true i say just don't reject it or don't believe it just consider it as a possibility and just leave it at that and that's one way that will help you get the most out of the book the other way as well is go to the other side where go in with a mindset saying that anything written in the book i'm going to believe and towards the end when everything is uh, when i've read everything i've gone through this journey it's like a novel you've gone through this journey i'm going to question whether it's possible or not so go in reading fully believing it and then in the end you can start questioning things but the answer to that is question it not based on your intellect but based on your practice practice these things see the changes observe it and then make your conclusion don't let your intellect make the decisions for you if you know about laws of attraction this is how this book will work as well if you believe in it the more you believe in it the more you will get out of it it all depends on how much faith you put in that's how much you'll get back it's up to you to decide how open uh, you going to be again if you you have to be a seeker you have to be a true seeker to get the most out of it if you are reading it to if you are reading it to critique it just read a novel don't read this book but if you want to read it from perspective of a seeker from curiosity from an open mind of learning new things then this will be profound finally after reading this book there might be an urge to learn kriya yoga which is which is the purpose of the book and if that's the case one should there are many places where you can go and learn kriya yoga there are organizations that has been set up by parpahansa yogananda however don't expect the same thing that you have read in book and com- try and compare that with the organization because that's a different ball game i'm not saying the organizations are good or bad they they are doing what they are supposed to and they are doing a great job but what i feel is the book is so beautiful that no matter what the organization does it will never be able to match up to it so you know be open to it there are many places you can learn kriya yoga there are many masters available out there so you can learn that from many 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 places so best way to read it might be the audio book because it's it's still a big book and i understand a lot of people find it difficult to read the book as well that's how i re- read it the fir- uh, listen to it the first time and then i go back to the kindle for certain chapters or i go back and read uh, listen to some of the chapters from the book o- over the course of the years so uh, there are many places and many ways to read it and there are many other books great books by parmahansa yogananda that that you should go and read as well so hope you enjoyed this video for many more book recommendations breathing techniques how to grow and manage your energy and will power please like this video share it and subscribe it until next time thank you